Hey everyone, this video is about the Electronica MK61, which was manufactured in the Soviet Union from 1983 to 1994. Uh, the MK61 was part of the third generation of a series of programmable scientific RPN calculators, the first being the B321, which was released in 1977, uh, three years after the HP65, the world's first programmable pocket calculator. And these were all produced by the Soviet Ministry of the Electronics Industry, which was the monopoly producer of electronics components for military and civilian applications in the USSR. And it produced a wide variety of electronics products, including digital watches, computers, and electronics toys, and most of them under the Electronica brand. And the MK61 was designed to be a relatively inexpensive calculator, uh, its plastic case creaks a lot and its keyboard doesn't give any feedback when the keys are pressed. Uh, it has a green vacuum fluorescent display or VFD that can display an 8 digit Mantissa and 2 digit exponent. Uh, so hardware wise the MK61 uh, was a number of years behind calculators in Japan or the US released around the same time which typically adopted LCD displays, uh, smaller batteries, and continuous memory by 1983. Uh, the calculator has a hardware on-off switch, and also another switch uh, to switch between uh, radians, gradients, and degrees. And the keyboard is nicely laid out uh, with color-coded sections and uh, blue and yellow shift keys. There are some Cyrillic characters on the keyboard, uh, and it's possible to put your own labels on the keys, but it's not difficult to learn their meanings. The MK61 uses reverse Polish notation or RPN, and has a four-level stack with X, Y, Z, and T registers, plus an additional X1 register used to automatically store the last X register value. So to calculate 2 plus 3 times 4, you'd enter those numbers onto the stack, and then hit the multiply and plus keys. And you can use the swap key uh, to switch the X and Y values. Uh, and hitting yellow shift and enter uh, displays the last X value. You can also roll down the stack uh, via the circular icon. And there's also uh, a change sign key uh, and an exponential key. So if you've used HP's RPN calculators, you may know that there are three different versions of RPN that HP has used over the years. And these relate to differences in the behavior of the enter and change sign keys. And the MK61 is similar to older calculators like the HP45 and the way those two keys operate. So for example, if I enter 5, enter change sign 2, plus, uh, the result on the MK61 is 7 uh, because the change sign basically gets ignored uh, because it's before a number is tight. Uh, but if I do the same series of operations on a modern uh, HP 35S, uh, the result is minus 3. And for those interested, uh, if you do the same operations on an HP 35, uh, that has different behavior again, uh, the result is a positive 3. And the MK61 has the basic scientific operations you'd expect, and they're accessible via the yellow shift key. Uh, so there's uh, trig, inverse trig, uh, square root, 1 over x, uh, there's a pi key, and the usual power and log functions. And it has conversion functions from base 60 uh, hours, minutes, seconds to decimal and back. There's also functions to get the integer and fraction parts of a number, uh, take the absolute value and sign, and find the max of the X and Y registers. An interesting feature of the NK61 is it supports bitwise logic operations where digits are encoded in binary coded decimal or BCD, and each digit is a, effectively a 4 bit hexadecimal number. So when you enter values and registers X and Y for bitwise operations, it's also necessary to type a digit other than zero in the most significant uh, digit of the inputted numbers. So say I enter a one followed by six eights. I can push that onto the stack 
and I'll enter 1 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, and now I'll do a bitwise OR. So the result of a bitwise operation on the MK61 uh, always begins with an 8. Uh, and the following symbols uh, corresponds to a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Uh, each encoded in 4 bits. And it's interesting that you can't actually enter these special symbols directly in run mode uh, via the keyboard. And the MK61 supports keystroke programming in similar fashion to early HP machines. Uh, so if we go into program mode, uh, in this mode our programming steps will be entered into the calculator's 105 memory cells uh, from addresses 0 to 104. And the calculator shows the current program counter on the right of the display. Uh, so say to enter a simple program to calculate the area of a circle from a radius, uh, we would square our radius, uh, enter pi onto the stack, and then multiply. And every program uh, finishes with a run stop key. And now to run the program, we can switch out to run mode, uh, enter a radius, uh, reset our program counter to zero, and hit run stop. And the MK61 supports a bunch of conditional tests, uh, two byte labels, uh, loop control command, and also subroutines. In the MK61, each instruction code is made up of two four bit digits, so there are 256 possible instructions, but the manual only lists 213 that are in use. Uh, so there are 42 undefined opcodes that could theoretically be executed. And there is a way to do synthetic programming uh, through editing keystroke programs and placing a no-op operation on top of a go-to instruction with a label. Uh, so for example, if we go back to program mode, uh, we can enter go-to and then uh, the label 3E. And then we'll enter run stop to uh, finish the program. And so now we can uh, scroll back through the program, back to the first instruction. Uh, we can actually overwrite the go to uh, with a no operation. Uh, and we can exit out to, to run mode and reset the uh, program counter. Uh, so now I'll enter a couple of uh, numbers onto the stack and hit run stop. And uh, this, interestingly, uh, what this instruction did was to copy Y into X and leave the un other registers intact. Uh, and interestingly, the one that was in X uh, is now in last X. Uh, so in summary, the MK61 is an interesting Soviet calculator from the early 80s. It was clearly inspired by the Hewlett-Packard IPN calculators from the previous decade, but also has some unique functions that give it its own personality. Uh, because the MK61 was so widespread in the Soviet Union, there are many programs available uh, for this model online, uh, but you have to key them in and they are lost uh, once your power switch is turned off. Uh, if you're interested in getting an MK61, there are a lot of sellers on eBay in countries like the Ukraine. And they're relatively inexpensive. This one was around $30 plus postage, and it came uh, with its original box and documentation. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful.